Sometimes watches are not just instruments to tell the time. They also tell stories. For years, Omega has been telling stories with their models. A famous example of this is, of course, the Moon Watch. In today's video, we are going to take a look at a watch that tells a story of incredible engineering. In front of us is Omega Planet Ocean Ultra Deep. And this watch has a water resistance of 6,000 meters. Aren't humans incredible? Not only did we think of and then build a submarine to go 6,000 meters below the surface, but then we decided that's not enough and we built a wristwatch to go down to the same depth, 6,000 meters below the surface. Just take a moment to think about how crazy that sounds. Now, as crazy as that sounds, that's actually not the full story because this planet ocean is actually just a consumer version of a record breaking Omega that went down to 10,916 meters. It's a world record. Of course, that watch is completely oversized and super impractical. Just to give you an idea, the case thickness alone is 28 millimeters. The watch in front of us, the watch in question, has a more sensible case size. Of 45 millimeters diameter, it's about 52 millimeters from one lug to another. The lug width is 22 millimeters and it has a thickness of 18 millimeters. Still thick, but not 28. You have a choice of a titanium or a stainless steel case. I'm going to showcase both of the versions in this video. It has a sapphire crystal with AR coating on both underside and outside of the glass. 6,000 meters of water resistance. It's powered by the Omega Caliber 8912 coaxial automatic movement and it has a price tag of $12,200 for the stainless steel version or $12,900 for the titanium one. The finishes on the case are great. We have a alternating satin and high polish finishes on the stainless steel case and sandblasted finish for the titanium one. Of course, both watches are tool watches, but to me, the stainless steel version just feels a little bit more luxurious and looks a little bit more special, where the titanium one looks more like a tool watch, like a watch that you would want to go diving with. Between the stainless steel and the titanium, I prefer the titanium because of that fact. It is also a lighter watch to wear, which makes it more comfortable on the wrist. And to my surprise, it is actually wearable. Here it is on my seven and a half inches wrist. When I first heard of this watch, I thought it would be one of those timepieces that is great and has great specs. People buy it and put it in their box just to have without even wearing it because it's just too ridiculous, too thick to wear. Outside of its thickness, the size is not outrageously large. The stainless steel one is pretty heavy. I would probably wear it on a rubber strap to make it a little bit more comfortable. The stainless steel bracelet makes it a bit too heavy for my personal preference. And let's not pretend that this is gonna be your everyday watch. It's perfectly fine to wear it on the weekends, but I would not wear this one on a daily basis because it's just simply too large. I'd say anyone with the wrist of about seven inches and larger can probably pull it off, but I would also recommend you try one on the Omega Boutique before you buy one. And by the way, huge thank you to Vancouver Omega Boutique for hooking me up and letting me borrow these watches for this review. There are slight differences in the design between the stainless steel and the titanium versions. The titanium case is not symmetrical. Also, there are no crown guards. The stainless steel version has crown guards and is a bit more symmetrical. The titanium version has its dial also made out of titanium. Also, the finish on the dial has a grainy appearance. Stainless steel version, on the other hand, comes with the glossy finish on its dial. It makes it feel, once again, a bit more luxurious. Both versions have applied indexes and 12, 3, 6, and 9 in Arabic numerals. There is no date on either one of the two options. And both versions are powered by the same movement, Omega Caliber 8912 coaxial automatic movement. It has 36 joules, 60 hours of power reserve, and it beats at 25,200 vibrations per hour. The movement is Meta certified and it comes with five year warranty. Truly an excellent movement. The titanium version comes on a NATO strap with a titanium buckle. It also has a very unique 
lug design. This design, however, does limit your strap options. You're pretty much limited to only NATO straps. This little break in the middle of the lugs, from my understanding, is a callback to the watch that this watch is based on, that record breaking watch that went down to over 10,000 meters. They needed that break in the lug structure to attach the case to the submarine. How crazy is that? The stainless steel version comes with your choice of either bracelet or a rubber strap. I usually recommend you buy sports watches on bracelets, but for this one, I would not recommend that. Even though the bracelet is pretty good, it feels solid, it feels hefty. Also, it has the new Omega clasp with the quick extension and diver extension mechanisms. The problem with this bracelet is that it simply makes the watch too heavy and uncomfortable to wear. I would prefer to buy this watch on the rubber strap and save a few dollars, plus the watch would be much more comfortable. Overall, this is a super impressive watch. It's for people who probably already have a Seamaster 300 and maybe even a few other divers in their collection. It's targeting people who appreciate the engineering of it all. People who appreciate the fact that the sapphire crystal is 5.2 millimeters thick and is designed to withstand 7.5 tons of pressure. I'm talking about these types of people. And I'm so glad that these type of people exist and I'm also glad that watches like this exist in the world. I appreciate you watching this video until the end. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. We release new videos every week. And leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about this watch. Is it too ridiculous? Would you buy one? Leave your thoughts below. In the description of this video, there is a secret link. Have a look if you're curious. Thanks for watching this one, and we'll see you next time. Bye.